hello everybody and welcome back to another video so just like every single week i have done a show challenge i don't know they are so addicting and i just think as a builder it really does challenge me to actually create some of these builds because there are some things that would really like to change but obviously i can't that's the whole point of this challenge I do also want to remind everybody that if you just have any hearing problems or any type of disabilities that might make it a little hard to hear me, there are subtitles that I have created myself to make sure that I'm being as inclusive as possible for my videos. So I just want to let you guys know now because any videos that I have some commentary on, I will be doing that. But yeah, so let's get on to the build. So this is going to be a modern house. I've been doing a lot of those for ch shell challenges. And I think it's because a lot of the shell challenges are very boxy, I guess. And I think that when I think... When I imagine like the typical modern house, it is super like boxy. So I just, I don't know. I guess I'm like not challenging myself as a builder, but I also really have been enjoying doing modern builds. So yeah, for this one, I am sorry in advance <laughs> because this build actually has a lot of packs I think I use. I don't think I established what packs I was gonna use specifically ahead of time because usually I like to just use a couple packs and stick to those just in case. But yeah, this one it just seems like I am using a lot because those floors in that kitchen area that I'm going to be doing is from Dine Out. So yeah, I'm sorry if you don't have the packs, but yeah, so this one... For some reason, every time I'm doing floor plans and building houses, I just forget about bathrooms for some reason. I don't know. So when I originally um, was thinking about the floor plan of this house, I was <laughs> I did not put any bathrooms at all, which is a little um, not good. <laughs> so I ended up fixing it and then... Um, continuing on this recording so I definitely recorded this in a couple of different chunks and I really love the Moschino pack I think if you guys are thinking about a stuff pack that you really want other than the new one that just came out which is nifty knitting I would really suggest getting the Moschino stuff. I feel like the furniture is just so beautiful. And if you like modern builds, then I think that the Moschino stuff would also be really good for you to get if you are planning to buy one. But yeah, I just really love the designs of it. And I just think they're perfect for modern homes. But yeah, so... This bathroom is a little bit weird because there is that giant window. Like I said before, I kind of forgot about the bathroom and the floor plan when I was thinking about it. So the curtain situation is um, not very good. And then I got those vintage glamour curtains because I thought there weren't any, any um, curtains that were long enough for that window. So I really had to just make it work. And then I use some eco lifestyle um, little wall decor in this room. I don't know if I really even liked it, but I just ended up leaving it there anyway. And I don't know, I feel like I could have made some alterations to the living room better, but yeah. As you can see here, I just use those island living little skylights, which if you don't have the pack, I'm so sorry. So yeah, this is not a build that's friendly for like the average simmer I would say but yeah I also want to do something different this time with my builds and I decided to try to basically make this 
um, I don't know. I just really wanted to make a new like wall design and it ended up working out. I think it looked pretty good. I just really wanted to keep it as open as possible and kind of different from other builds I've done. I don't really use that table very often and I used I hit the spa day pack a lot in this. I think because it is also pretty good if you want to do mm, modern builds I guess. That's kind of questionable but I really like the lights for that one and those bamboo plants as well. Those were nice. I also used the cool kitchen stuff counters as well. I just thought that they would look pretty good with this build because it is a modern build. And yeah, I, I for some reason, I really just don't like the, like the frosting of the glass when it comes to those cabinets. For whatever reason, I'm just, I just wish that they were just like more like clear and I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that. Let me know in the comments down below if you feel the same way. I don't know. Kind of bothers me a little bit and I hate that there's nothing I can do, but yeah. So this room was basically the study and I added that piano there because I didn't really know what else to put there. So I don't know if you guys do download this house. You can definitely change that if you want to, but I'm just like cluttering up the bookshelf a little bit and just making it just a little study area, but I don't know. This one was kind of weird. I was going to do a second living room, but and then I just thought it was kind of pointless in a way. And then one thing that made this shell challenge really difficult is that I basically had to have two like wings of this house basically so that's why it was really hard to make it flow naturally when it was basically like the second floor on both sides were completely separate and I had to figure out how to make that work in a reasonable way but I ended up doing two bedrooms that were pretty much the same when I was doing the floor plan, I forgot about the stairs on this side, and I don't know. I just had to make it work, and I thought even though it looks almost the same, I just left it like that because I thought it basically looked the best, but I don't know. You guys can change it if you want to, but yeah, I actually liked how it was pretty much. It might bother you that um, there are no doors to lead up upstairs before you get to like the bedroom. As soon as you walk up the stairs, there's the bedroom. So you could probably alter that and take out one of the bathrooms, but I ended up doing just one full bath for each because I thought it would be, I don't know, pretty annoying just to have two bathrooms and one of them only having a shower or slash bath so I thought that a good way to connect these like two bedrooms would be having a patio that's accessible for both rooms and I basically created my own little planter box right there and I don't know I just thought it really looked I don't know natural it was really cool but I also for some reason, I don't know. I just wish that I had like, oh, I could change a little bit of this build. And then I decided to do some shrubs for, I don't know. I didn't want to make it just like an open area. And I also couldn't make it a balcony because a bathroom was right there. So I ended up just doing that greenery on the second floor. And then when we get to the outside, I just wanted to do a bar in more of an entertainment area and have just like a little table and a pool and just a place to relax. I just imagine that somebody super like rich lives here and somebody who throws parties, I don't know. But 
yeah i did i did use a lot of these packs because now that i'm like re-watching this i'm just like wow yeah i used probably almost every single pack in the game but yeah i think lights in the sims for some reason i'm just not very happy with all the lights i wish they would give us more lights but i don't know i feel like it's so late in the game that i doubt we'll get any new lights really and I thought these trees would actually be a really good, I don't know, look to this build because it is modern and I think it's a little, I don't know. <laughs> it, I think it makes the house look more modern and I don't know, I just really liked it. I didn't really add too much to the exterior of the house at all, but I don't know, I just... Kind of got lazy to be honest because it took forever for this build in particular to do but yeah i mean i did use a lot of build or i did use a lot of packs but you could easily just take out whatever you want because some packs only used it for like one or two items so yeah that is my build i hope you guys liked it this was a shell challenge from, I will put it on the screen who it's from, go follow them, go watch their videos or watch their Twitch. I hope you guys are having a really good day or at least had a really good day depending on when you watch this video, but definitely like this video and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video which will be later on this week